Um, and here comes Rusty. Greyhound. What comes to mind when you hear this word? Is it a racing dog? A hyperactive crazy dog? Or maybe you just think of a bus. We've all heard of the Greyhound breed, but many of us know nothing about them. Well, hopefully in approximately 15 minutes you will have a better knowledge of what Greyhounds are really like, and you will erase some of those myths from your mind. So, what are the basics of the Greyhound breed? Greyhounds are, as most of us know, a breed that is bred for racing, and they can reach a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour. Wow, that's fast! They are gentle, intelligent, and graceful. Greyhounds can weigh up to 75 pounds. Greyhounds have very short fur, which is easy to maintain. They come in many colors, white, brindle, fawn, black, red, and even blue or gray. And combinations of these colors are endless. Greyhounds are also known as needle noses because of their pointy, slender noses. Now, how about those myths? Here are the top myths concerning greyhounds and the truth about these myths. Greyhounds have many different personalities, and a recently retired racer may take a while to warm up to you, but your dog's personality will begin to blossom right before your oh, eyes. Yeah. I'm Wendy Cope. I have had greyhounds for 16 years now, since 1999. So we've had five total, um, and I can see a lot of the way Jada was before Wowie passed mm -hmm. away is not the way that she is now, and she, now she acts more like Wowie used to. Mm -hmm. because, so she kind of takes over the role of the, the matriarch in the family. Um, I think one one thing that people think about greyhounds is that they're they're skittish and that actually the hyperthyroidism is very overrepresented in this breed um, but out of five greyhounds we have only ever had one some people believe that because greyhounds are racing dogs that they have a lot of energy and they can tend to be hyperactive this could not be further from the truth. Historically, the Greyhound breed dates back to early Europe. They were originally bred to be hunting dogs in the open fields where their keen eyesight was very valuable. As hunting dogs, they were bred to release very short, very high-powered spurts of energy. So in other words, a Greyhound was literally bred to run at very high speeds for about five minutes. And then they would need to crash and flop down and take a nap. Uh, they're the supermodels of or Ferraris, if you will. Uh, you know, you wouldn't want to take a Ferrari off-roading. Um, they're very, um, very delicate. I spend the majority of their time laying around on the couch, much the same as most Ferraris spend the majority of their time in garage. So this one may be half true. Greyhounds, unlike most other dogs, don't have an undercoat. And this fact may make them less likely to trigger allergies in humans. However, not having an undercoat and their general lack of body fat makes them very susceptible to the cold. You should always put a coat on your greyhound.
Well, again, this one may be half true. Because of the greyhound anatomy, they do not usually find the sitting position most comfortable. So most greyhounds will either stand or lie down. But some greyhounds can be trained to sit for their treats. So, what makes the greyhound breed so unique? Greyhounds are not very vocal dogs. You will almost never hear a greyhound bark. Their speed is another thing that makes them very unique dogs. And how many people can say that their dog has two tattoos? Each greyhound is tattooed in each ear. One ear has their birth date. The other ear has their racing number. I grew up with um, a shelter dog and we had a dachshund after that. And um, what a barker. So th this was just <laughs> odd for me that they could see a dog outside um, looking out the window. They're curious, but they don't bark. And that, that's just amazing. I love it. <laughs> they don't bark at other dogs. <laughs> they, um, like, they don't, uh, some things they don't do that kind of surprise me. Like if you throw a ball, at least my greyhounds, they'll just look at it like, what, what am I supposed to do with that? They don't chase balls or sticks, mm -hmm. but they like little fluffy things, little animals. They love that. If you adopt an ex-racer, they will always come spayed or neutered. That is standard policy for an ex-racer. Greyhound racing remains a topic of controversy and greyhound racing in the United States is governed by state law. Although several states have outlawed greyhound racing, there are still 22 tracks that are open in the United States today. I understand that some people have an issue with the ethics and uh, the humane nature of uh, dogs and what humans are doing with them. Uh, I think, as with anything, uh, there's gonna be people who abuse uh, the respect factor. Uh, there's good trainers and bad trainers. I'd like to think it's a parallel of humanity where there's great people in the world and there's also a select margin of people who are not so great. So I think on the whole greyhound racing for those who abide by the rules and regulations is a very good thing. I think it's nice to see greyhounds being bred to do what they want to do. I think if you asked a greyhound if he likes greyhound racing, I think he'd say yes. Uh, I think there's a small portion of people who give it a bad name. A greyhound's racing career can span over two to three to four years. And since greyhounds have a lifespan of about 12 years, this leaves thousands of greyhounds homeless. Before the formation of greyhound adoption groups, over 20,000 greyhounds were euthanized each year due to racing. Due to the physical nature of greyhound racing, many greyhounds get hurt during races. My dog Millie, or as she was known by her racing name, Megalay, had a very bad injury. She was in the front of the pack and she tripped. She was trampled by all of the dogs behind her. On the other hand, Greyhounds seem to love racing. It's what they were bred to do. New laws are being passed every day about breeding, adoption, and track conditions. These new laws help to make sure that greyhounds have a happy and healthy life. Over the last decade, many greyhound adoption organizations have been formed. These organizations help to make sure that Greyhounds find their forever home and that the number of euthanized dogs goes down less and less every year. Now that you know about greyhounds, hopefully when you're searching for your next family pet, a greyhound may be one of your considerations. There are plenty of online sites that you can go to to see the dogs that are available for adoption. That's my dog Millie. Oh yeah, and that was her racing name there. And they're very loving and um, playful and just not at all what I thought, what the stereotype was for greyhounds, that they were um, just very docile and shy or skittish and 
and not they didn't interact well with with humans but it's it's not at all like that so next time you're looking for a new family pet go for great oh I mean greyhound that is closeness that I feel with them like I, I feel like they they know they're so excited when we're all home like if I can be home and if my husband's not home yeah I can sense that she that that our dogs are not they're not completely happy until the whole pack is together so they're just they're really pack animals like when, when everyone's home they're just content oh wait I almost forgot to tell you did you know that all of these people own greyhounds? <laughs>